Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Adventures. My name is Flying Magpies and I'm here once again right outside the Christmas tree that someone built. Uh, as you can see there's still two more presents available for Wolf and for Top 230 so if you guys are available and are watching this don't forget to open up your presents. As you can see I'm starting things off in my base today but today I'm not actually going to be spending a lot of time in my base because I'm going to start on a new project that I've got planned for this episode and probably a few others and that is a project that I've been thinking about for a little while and it's a shopping center or a shopping mall. Uh, basically the idea is that I'm going to start building something a little way off in this direction and in a nice flat area. It's going to be a nice probably two to three stories of shops and anyone and everyone can build a shop and of course people can buy and sell things in it and whatnot just like a normal shopping center. However, I did decide that I'm going to build the shopping center out of different things, so not like the wood and glass that I've been building the rest of my base with, but I'm going to be building it out of modern materials, so concrete, quartz, and the like. So let's have a look at how much, uh, let me see, the concrete stuff, which needs gravel, so not a lot there, and even less of sand. So that means they're going to have to go on a resource gathering mission. So often I know there's a gravel uh, mound over here somewhere, so I'm going to go off and get it, and then find a nice desert and I to collect all the sand from there and then I can get started on this shopping centre. Now I had the thought that it's actually been a little while since I did a resource gathering mission so I think I'll record this as well as put some classical music like I promised in the first episode. I'll back this with some classical music so sit back and listen up.
Okay, after about an hour of uh, gathering, I've gotten that much sand, which is what? That's 9 times 3, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 stacks of sand and nearly as much gravel. I've got a lot less gravel, but that is partly because the I expect the shopping mall is going to use quite a lot of glass and therefore a lot of sand, so that's actually a good thing. Then again, if I do need more gravel, it's just over there. With the amazing conversion rate of just four graveled and four sand and a die to eight pieces of concrete powder, I think that's going to be quite enough concrete powder and concrete to use. Okay, after a bit more resource gathering and a bit of banner making, if you can see my inventory I've made, that is S H O N P, the S letter twice. Uh, so now I'm going to head off to the direction of my proposed area for the. Uh, shops and start a little bit of construction work. I've gotten some polish and some stone and I think I'll work on the entranceway first and then I'll start thinking about how I'm going to do the rest of the building. And here we are. It's not much of a start but it is something to go off. There's just a little path. I reckoning this is going to be the entranceway and over here will be the big double doors. So probably a post in the middle here followed by two big uh, entranceways over here. I'm still to get to decide what I'm going to put on either side of these uh, this walkway, but I guess it's going to be something decorative, something garden-like, just to make it look quite impressive as we first enter the shops. Okay, a bit of an update for you. I've now finished off a bit of the entranceway, so it's just a nice, what do you call it, a nice portico just before the doors, as well as put in some glass doors. Uh, so theoretically, these would uh, chink in front of the, in front of here, and close and open. But of course, it's Minecraft, and I can't be bothered putting in piston doors, so uh, they're just going to look like glass doors on this side. Okay, after quite a little bit of work, as you, I have now put in quite a lot of this path, so it goes a fair distance in this way. I've also started work on these walls. I'm not yet sure how I want to do it, because I'm not particularly keen on doing it all windows, because this will be might not be my shop space here, so each shop will come up to about, will be here, and then th there might be another wall here or something. So I'd like to leave it to each individual player to make their own shop. And so this mall is to be, this shopping centre is more for each individual uh, player to design their own shop. So I need to really leave the inside bits for them to do and design more of the outside. As you can see, I've started work on the second story of this building with all the staircases leading up to it, as well as the ground floor of the second story, which is, I think it's seven blocks above this one. So a little bit of room if people wanted to build nice and tall shops. Then again, the taller shops might be on the second story because I think this one I might have taller roofs. That's yet to be decided. Anyway, also one thing that's slightly different about the second story to the first is that the barrier is just over here and then there'll be a little bit of a gap, the five blocks overlooking the staircase, the, not the staircase, the ground level flooring and then the second level will resume on this side and naturally there'll be crossover points to go from this side of the top story to the other side of the top story. Okay, now that I've built this up to its 50 blocks in each direction, I think that's going to be long enough or wide enough on the front face. I may have it slightly longer than it is wide, but that is just about long enough. Well, I'm back here in my creative world to test a couple of things. This is about the approximate height of what the shopping centre wall is going to be like, so I'm going to test out a few things to make sure it's not just a big blank wall of white. Uh, thinking of doing things with dark oak stairs and dark oak slabs as well as spruce sleeves, so I'll try a couple of patterns and come back when I think I've got a good pattern. Now this is one of the patterns I had the idea of doing, uh, although there is a slight problem with this. This white wall is actually 17 blocks high, so it's an uneven number and thus this, if I leave a two gap, two and a half gap here and a two and a half gap down here, I don't know that if I put this down here it makes it 16, so I don't know quite why this is uh, a little bit off, but this is the basic pattern. Every uh, crisscross pattern with spruce leaves and the dark oak woods, and then every now and then having a dark concrete, dark grey or grey concrete lining the wall, and potentially something on here to make it look nice. So that that is the pattern I'm thinking of going with. The other pattern I had was just a triangle formation, which I'll I shall fix up now. This is the other pattern I had the idea of doing, with either the right hand side or the left hand side being the two alternatives. The advantage of this 
design is that there's actually a little bit of depth. This can come out a little bit more. And so if you're looking from the side, it gives a little bit more depth. How, if you're looking front on, there's not so much. However, and of course between the different between the two sides, you have this nice V formation. Uh, however, on this side, you don't ha quite have the you don't quite have the depth that you could get on the others. On this side, there's just a big a big splodge of white, which is not quite what I'm looking for. So again, it's something I'm going to have to look for. And of course, every time that this comes up to here, there will be a nice con dark concrete wall, similar to the other side, just poking one above. I think that might actually look quite nice with several of these patterns going all the way around and maybe either this or this, I'm not quite sure, this side or this side, I'm not quite sure which. So I'll give that a think and when I have decided I'll go back into the into the world and actually start building it. Okay, I'm back here at my base, I finally decided it was time to start enchanting a couple of items and I've, and I've decided to enchant this sword first so and that was one of the main priorities given that I needed, I want looting for my I want looting to, so I can get some more bones every time I kill a skeleton so after I get this, kill off this uh, drowned I can show you exactly what I have and let's put back that um, shoe cane that got demolished so yes I managed to get uh, after a little bit of enchanting with books and with the sword itself I got sharpness for loot fire aspect 1, looting 3 and mending which is a pretty good combo I believe and now I can go back and start hunting down those skeletons. Alright, I'm back in the creative world and as you can see I've added a little bit more. Actually, it wasn't just me. Uh, TYS205 from the realm also popped in and helped me with a little bit of this. So what we've done is we've added a little bit of the glass in between. We've touched up this and made it look a little bit better as well as put this on the corner. So this is cyan terracotta, sorry, cyan concrete and we put red terracotta in the corners. So it will just curve around like this so I reckon that's pretty pretty good corners I'm not sure if we should do it in all four corners but it's something to look at as well so that this on the corner would definitely be in at least one if not two or three of the corners and this over here is what we've been doing as well I, this still needs a little bit of work but I reckon it's just about done well after a few more nights of hunting down for skeletons and turning their bones into bone meal and creating some more uh, all that by concrete powder. I finally finished off the, just these two walls, at least the white concrete part of it. Of course, in the future, I'm going to have to put in the all the spruce leaves and all the uh, dark oak and and all that. But and the of course the terracotta and the cyan, whatnot, the cyan concrete on the corners. But I believe that's all I've got time for today. If you have liked this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more of the same. And don't forget to check out my Rocket League videos. Goodbye.